What's up, YouTube? Erod212 here with another haul video. Today, we've got, yes, a CGC unboxing. It's been a while. You know, as everybody knows, the wait times have been really rough on them. But uh, this, this box here was worth the wait. Uh, there's some really good books in here. I know the greats, all transparency, but I wanted to share with you guys and show you guys exactly what I got. Because there are some bangers in here. You're not going to want to miss this books. I think it's 11 books that I've got all total. Um, let's start it off right away. I'm going to go with Daredevil, Volume 2, Number 9, First Appearance of Echo. This book right here, a great spec book. People weren't happy with the character, but I think there's so much more to come with this character. Remember, she's getting her own Disney Plus series. So, uh... Let's take a look at the grade. 9.8. Very nice. Um, I, I, I was stacking this book when uh, it started getting hot. I was picking copies up for about $60 to $75. And uh, that was one of the nicer ones I got. So 9.8, uh, well worth it. I think that book hasn't seen its stew yet. Let's take a look at the next one. Invincible Iron Man number 7. And this is the uh, Women of Power variant. I had bought these straight off the newsstand, and then I believe I ordered a couple of copies on Midtown Comics. Um, so this is this is of the uh, Invincible Iron Man Sevens. This is the one to have, and this was a nine point six. Nice book, uh, real nice book. Let's see, book number three. Okay, all right. There it is right there, Invincible Iron Man number nine, first appearance of Riri Williams. And this came back 9.8. Woo! Woo! That's a banger right there. 9.8, baby. Look at that. Star Wars Into the Empire number one. Uh, first appearance of Mara Jade, and more importantly, first appearance of Grand Emerald Thrawn, who's supposed to be in the next Ahsoka series. So this should be a real interesting book. Uh, and once that series pops again, this book's just going to climb again. I don't think it's at its peak. And if Mara Jade comes around, forget about it. Um, tough book. It's a thicker cardstock. But let's take a look. 9.4. Very respectable grade on this book. Um, this book has gotten real pricey. It used to be found in bins it's always popular because of Mara Jade not as much Thrawn but with all the hype on Thrawn this book has become a go-to book in uh, Solus Collector's arsenal DC Comics presents number 47, first appearance of He-Man. And this book here is a book that, man, I mean, in five years, what this book has become, it's crazy. It's it's a big boy book for sure. Uh, and this came back at 8.0. Uh, respectable, definitely a respectable grade for this book. It presents really well, um, but it had some issues to the back, I believe it was, yeah. It's got a small little tear in the back. It's tiny. It's minuscule. But they hit you for it. So, Next book up. 4, 337. First Beta Ray Bill. Uh, I believe this is a newsstand. Yeah, it's a newsstand edition. And this book came back in 8.0. I'm a little disappointed in this one. Uh, out of all of them, this is the one that, that kind of got me. I, I don't see why it's an 8.0. I'm going to have to review it and continue to look at it. Based on the notes, don't get me wrong. I see one, two, uh, three ticks on it, but not eight old, not eight old territory. I thought it was a nine plus. Uh, okay, just felt a little jagged edge on the, on the case, but it's not cracked. Making sure. What do we got here? Okay, uh, Uncanny X Men number two sixty six. So this book I picked up at a Jersey show. It was an 8.5. I did an experiment, hoping to see if I can get it up a, a grade, hopefully 2 to a 9.2. And we got it up to a 9.0. So we did get a grade bump on it, which is a good thing. 
because uh, it does have some spine ticks that break color. But even in an I know this book is a couple hundred dollars right now. This this character, another character that hopefully someday uh, really peaks. I think uh, when Feige gets control of the X-Men and they start doing series, Gambit will be a character that you'll see. It won't be Channing Tatum, but it will be a character. We got two more books. Let's take a look at this. I believe I know what these are here. Yes. All right. So this is Amazing Spider-Man 252. Uh, it's a new stand edition. Another book that I was stacking for a while just because I always believed that uh, the future of this character here and this costume here would be something the MCU would visit. And this one came back. A 9.0. Very nice. Nice, nice grade. I like that. One more book. Let's take a look. Okay. Invincible Iron Man, number seven. And this is, um, again, a woman of power. And this one came back. A 9.8. Oof, my goodness. Whew. That's a beauty. So we got a 9.8. And there's the other one here. Because this is a great photo moment here. And a 9.6. Two heaters right there. Real nice. What else did we get here? Just sort of showing you. Oh, you know what? I'm I'm a dumbass. There's two more books in here. Let me show you what I got. Thought there were more books here. Amazing Spider-Man number 252. Another one. Another newsstand that I sent in. Forgot about this. There's two books in here, and I apologize for that. I got so excited you showing that but after that 9-8 that I forgot I had two more books in there. But I really you're gonna like this one. 9.6. Oh man. So you talk about bookends. You got those women with power bookends right there. And then you go with those two bad boys right there. Shoo. You see an addition, 252. And then this is the last book. Let's check that. And here we go. Thor, number one, um, Jane Foster, Thor right here, a real nice book. I think that this book has not seen its due. Let's see what happens with the series. Uh, there's supposed to be a trailer coming out soon. Let's see what they do with Natalie Portman as uh, Jane Foster, and she's supposed to become Thor. And this came back at 9.8. Oh, man. Liking it. Liking it. So, a little love for Thor if we're seeing a common theme. Little Riri Williams love. Little Echo. All books that, you know, we've been specking out for a while. These books have been a CGC for a while, so you can see how long I've had them. Uh, it, it's probably like a, a six month wait on these books that I've had. But uh, just trying to look ahead, see what we can do. You know, what books are going to get hot. I think Riri's going to get hot. Um, and the black costume is coming. I can't wait for that. So yeah, that's the CGC haul. I hope you guys will like it. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comment. By the way, some of these books will be at King Con. If you're available, March 19th, head on down. Um, King Con 2 will be in New Jersey. It is a show of collectors for the collectors and the community for the community. And we're just going to all be hanging out there. Shooting the shit, talking about comic books, uh, Three Men in the Basement, my boy Pressable Defects, the New York Warriors are going to be there, Very Gary's going to be there, uh, Mike the Beast Benson is setting up over there, um, Bronzeville Comics is going to be setting up there, Streetside Anthony is going to be there, on top of like Zap Comics and Kyle's Comics and all of those other places that are, are regular you know, vendors at shows, uh, but a lot of first time vendors, which is always a, always a plus, always a lot of fun, so... If you have a chance, come check it out. 10,000 square feet, I believe they have there. That's a pretty big show. Um, till my next video, peace.